What's going on everyone? It's Nick and welcome to another episode of NOS Cards. As always, hope you guys are doing great and feeling great. Uh, today we have a few different things that we're going to be opening up. The first uh, is a special, I don't know if I would call it a set, uh, a special packaging specifically for Costco. Um, it is two Pokeball tins and a uh, lunchbox as well as a Battle Styles lunchbox and then a Greninja V Union box. Um, I will go ahead and show those to you guys right now, one by one. So here is going to be the Battle Styles box, or I should say lunch box. Over here is this big thing. <sighs> This is what you can get exclusively at Costco. Again, two Pokeballs and that EV lunchbox. And then finally, we have this Greninja V Union box that we're gonna get into. So, before we start, as always, please hit that like and subscribe button below and we will get to opening all this stuff today. Hopefully we get some good polls. I've seen some people who've had really bad luck with these, so hopefully that's not us. So stay tuned to find out how we do, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. So to start things off, like I was saying, we're going to open up this Costco pack. You would think... Sorry about the, uh, the bob there, that bobble. Uh, you would think that... After all this time of me opening up cards, that I would have a box cutter by now. Newsflash, I don't. So that is on me, unfortunately. So, please excuse the shaking of the screen there as I open this stuff up. Quite hard to get this. So there's one ball. There's two. We'll look at the promo cards. And we'll dive into the lunchbox. So, thank you guys for bearing with me and my ineptitude of opening stuff. Okay, so we are going to use, I think, the Zamazenta sleeves today. So let's take a quick look at these EV cards. Here is one of the EV promo cards. Pretty nice little holographic. We'll go ahead and sleeve it up again in this Zama Zenta. Ooh, it's a nice sleeve. Here is another EV for you guys. We'll go ahead and sleeve it up as well. And last but not least, the next Eevee, which is right here. So the cool thing about the Eevee launch box, it comes with a bunch of different stuff, but it has three promo cards in it that are the main evolutions, the first three evolutions of Eevee, which are Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon that we'll get to later on once we get to that. But uh, it's got some cool things in it. If you got kids, I definitely would suggest getting it because the, uh, the launch box itself is pretty cool and it has like stickers and notepads and stuff uh, for little ones if they like to play with it. So, but we'll get to that in a second. Right now we are gonna be opening up the first Pokeball, this great ball. We'll go ahead and open up the other one too, just to say we did. All right, so we got our two Pokeballs right here. We're going to go ahead and open up the Great Ball. Typically, these have three packs and a cool little coin. The coin recently has been Entei, my favorite Pokemon of all time, so I think that's awesome. You got a Sword and Shield pack, Darkness Ablaze. Hit a Robo Clash. I'm assuming you're getting the same thing in this ball as well. Another Intake coin. It's a cool looking ball. All right, so Sword and Shield, another Darkness Blaze, and Rebel Clash. So not too shocked. We'll go ahead and open these real quick. Let's start off with Rebel Clash and we'll finish up with Darkness Ablaze. So again, you get this exclusively at Costco for like 33, 34 bucks. Uh, I believe it's 11 packs total. 
which pretty good you know the average pack costs about four bucks so I mean you guys do the math that's it's forty four dollars and you're getting it for thirty four plus all the extra stuff so not bad at all uh, so for our first pack with Rebel Clash we got Dan the Man, Carcoal, Galarian Farfetch'd, Pawn Edge, Tim Pole, and we have a turf field stadium and behind door number three is a full art Bolton V awesome uh, so already off to a strong start here guys with a full art card uh, good stuff good stuff the centering on this cards off just a tad but not too much I mean there's more border on the bottom than the top uh, the sides look pretty good and the back little off center but a cool looking card especially if you like doggies uh, so Bolton V with our very first hit of the day sleeve that up right there so already a uh, big fan of this uh, this tin <laughs> I mean I know it's kind of all the look of the draw but that's uh, that's a good way to start off the day for us so let's get into the next rebel clash pack here and we have code card for you guys and voila we have the fire energy skill tank full heal Sonia all right so if you guys don't mind I always like comments Milkery reverse hollow and an alchemy which is the evolved form for you guys um, if you guys don't mind feel free to comment in the section below uh, favorite card pulled for today uh, so far obviously we got the Bolton V but we have a long ways to go in today's video so if you don't mind just hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and comment below what your favorite poll has been and we will uh, hopefully have some more for you um, but yeah Rebel Clash is uh, my favorite set it there's not really many chase cards or pull cards um, I mean for playing it's not too bad um but you know it's uh, just one of those sets that wasn't really um i guess that great for people so we got two packs out of that and we got one hit with that bolton v so i will take it next we got the sword and shield base um actually i think that was our solar sword and shield pack so my my mistake we already opened up two rebel clashes so uh that was the sword and shield base and here's the other one and what do we got here code card for those online players and we are off with an energy so out of this $34 packaging by Costco um, I suggest you get it doesn't matter if you uh, necessarily get anything great out of it um, and a lantern just from a value standpoint again if your average pack is about four bucks and there's 11 packs in here I mean you're already ahead of the game right there I mean you're saving 10 bucks and you get so much more so just from a straight value standpoint it is really really good um, so here is the darkness of blaze packs I got two of them and I don't remember quite what is in the uh, the lunch box but the cool thing about Darkness of Blaze is there's two cards that I like. There's the Charizard V Max, which we already have one if you've seen the collection video, but it's always nice to have another one. You can never have too many Charizards. Um, but we have that, uh, and I think there's a Rainbow uh, Salamence in here, who's one of my favorites as well. So um, definitely the two cards that I'm looking to get out of this Phoebus and a Digger's B. So, so far out of the five packs we only had that one hit of the bolton v which to be honest with you guys i wasn't even expecting to get a hit out of these um just because it hasn't been too favorable but i mean you never know you never know what you might be able to pull out of here so here you guys go with the next code card and we have the lightning energy relicanth fill your bell rallet Spinarak, Marvesta, Hippopotas, Cup Chew, Reverse Hollow, and a Swana na na na. So there we go for the three packs in each Pokeball tin. The only hit again was that Bolton V. So 
so far not that great but kind of wasn't expecting anything great here is that lunch box that I was mentioning beforehand and again really cool if you have kids um, or if you're just a fan of Pokemon in general I mean it's got a lot of cool stuff that we'll uh, look at real fast and then we'll get into the cards again there's five booster packs in here there's three uh, promo cards the uh, evolution the Eevee the original three evolutions of Eevee since Eevee has like I don't even know how many anymore too many to keep track of um, so we'll go ahead and open it up real fast and look at the goodies inside so let me just get this out of the way here the first thing that you see we have a giant EV coin and you have these three really cool um, promo cards that you get for Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon, which are pretty cool looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have these Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon cards and they're pretty sick. Usually this type of uh, holographic I don't think any of these three are, but sometimes you'll get a swirl in there. So those are usually pretty cool, but we'll go ahead and set this aside for now, and we'll come back to it later. Uh, we got our packs. Looks like, I believe there's five, like I was saying earlier. We have a Chilling Rain, and ooh, these aren't too bad. Always like Vivid Voltage packs always like vivid voltage pack so we have a, another sword and shield pack and we have another rebel clash and that vivid voltage so the vivid voltage packs are nice just because it's a cool set and it has that rainbow tunkachu that you guys saw in my previous collection vid um, other things that are in here real fast before we open up the cards again this is stuff if you have kids or if you're just a huge fan of pokemon in general you get ooh, Some stickers. A lot of stickers. There's like five things of stickers for anybody. You get a nice little notepad that you can draw on. Um, and you get a nice little binder for your cards as well if you need them. So not a bad little setup that they got in here. Again, definitely good for, for kids or if you're just a huge fan in general and you get to keep this cool lunch box too. So, we will go ahead and open up the Rebel Clash, the Sword and Shield, the Chilling Rain, and the Vivid Voltage. So, Rebel Clash, again, I believe is what we got that uh, bolt on from, so maybe we'll get another good card out of it. Typically, the Rebel Clash hasn't been too kind to folks. Um, it's known as Rebel Trash, just kind of like Champion's Path, Champion's Trash, but hey, we will take whatever because Pokemon cards are fun to open regardless of what pack we got. So we have a Fire Energy, we got a Metapod, Heliolisk, Burning Scarf, Heliotile, Honage, a Litwick, Corsola, and a Dragapult Reverse Hollow. It's a cool looking card, especially if you like the Dragapult. And behind door number one is a Toxtricity V. So that is twice Rubble Clash has surprised me with another awesome V card. Uh, color me surprised, that's pretty awesome. So we got Bolton V and then this full art Toxtricity V and I'm not gonna lie, Toxtricity is slowly becoming one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, he's from the newer generation and I just think it's a cool Pokemon in general, but just a cool card. And let's take a quick look at the, uh, the centering. The centering's off just a tad, not bad. You know, a little bit more border on the right. Top to bottom, it's great. And on the back, it looks perfect as well. So a great pull for Rebel Clash. See, I'm talking all the smack about Rebel Clash, and then it goes and, oops, goes and does this. So we're going ahead and sleeve this bad boy up. And so far, uh, I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite pull of the day. I mean, that's just a sick looking card. Awesome. Okay, so let's see if Sword and Shield base can, uh, you know, compete with that. But so far, Rebel Clash is coming in clutch today. Two for technically three packs and two hits out of the three is pretty good in my book. So, one, two, three, four. Let's see. Let's go with a water energy. And it's dark. 
So we got a Stunfisk, a Dottler, Energy Switch, Joltik, Roselia, Goldeen, Pharisee, Diglett, Sabo, Reverse Hollow, and a Cloister. Uh, today's video, guys, I think is going to be relatively long just because we have another lunchbox to open and that Greninja V Union. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching me opening <laughs> all the plastic and stuff getting it uh, off there and whatnot so here we go with the fighting energy so we have fighting energy expedition uniform hat trim flaffy far-fetched furfro venipede sfeel crab brawler Heracross, Reverse Hollow. <sighs> we just haven't been able to get much today, guys. Not much at all. So, next we have Chilling Rain again. Chilling Pain, as the pull rates in this are really, really bad um, compared to others, I believe. But there are cool cards in Chilling Rain. So it's still definitely, you know, worth trying to grab them. I mean, the three legendary birds, among others, are just really cool cards. So hopefully we're able to uh, grab one of those guys somewhere along the line. Um, so we have a Shuppet, Cast Form, Ghastly, Cub Fu, Flaffy Reverse Hollow, and a Saw's Buck. And to wrap up the EV lunchbox, we have this Vivid Voltage Pack main chase card in here is that Chunkachu, the Rainbow Pikachu, uh, Pikachu V, Pikachu V Max, you name it. And here we go. I mean, I wouldn't mind having another Rainbow Pikachu. I think that'd be pretty sick. Get it graded and maybe it'll be better than the nine that I got last time. But hey, I'll take it nonetheless. So we got a Kagoat, one of Stadium, a Matang, Execute, Chateau, Clubpus, Skidoo, Shuppet, a reverse hollow Sheninja, and we have a Wailord holographic. There you guys go. All right, so out of the packs that we have opened so far, again, the Toxtricity in my city and the Bolton V have been the main polls for today. So next thing we're gonna open up, guys, is that battle styles lunchbox it's very similar to the um to the ev lunchbox that we just witnessed with promo cards uh, i believe this one has five booster packs as well i believe it only has two promo cards which you know is fine no worries um but everything else should be relatively the same so you should have the stickers the packs all of the good stuff so here is the promo and it's got two coins instead of one like the eevee and they're both different types of urshifu for rapid strike and single strike let's see if i can put them together for you there there you guys go pretty cool coins if you like them so we'll put this over here and the five packs in here i believe are all battle styles i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe they're pretty close so we got one battle style two battle styles oh we got a sword and shield sun and moon base set and we get another vivid voltage Woo! good stuff good stuff I won't go ahead and show you the uh, the stickers and stuff because again they're relatively the same as the EV and I don't want to waste you guys' time. So what we got here, Vivid Voltage again, one of my favorite sets. Base Sun and Moon, Base Sword and Shield, and two battle styles. So we'll go ahead and do the Sun and Moon first, and then we'll do Sword and Shield battle styles and wrap it up with Vivid Voltage, and then we'll get to that Greninja V Union box. So, with Sun and Moon, code card for you, and we are off with a Dark Energy, Herdier, Wishy Washy, Rare Candy, 
Snubble, Makuhita, Cutifly, Drowsy, Rowlet, Alolan Grimer, Reverse Hollow, and a Butterfree. Alright, Sword and Shield base pack. Not expecting much out of this either, but you never know. There you are. One, two, three, four. And we have the Lightning Energy, Salazzle, a Doug Trio, Pokemon Center Lady, a Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon, Silicobra, Yamps, Wooloo, and a Cramorant. Alright, guys, on to the battle styles. Still looking for that Golden Hound Doom. And we are still looking, I believe, for that Tyranitar V out of here. Also, pretty sure there's an alternate art of the Urshifu that I still haven't pulled yet. So there's actually like a good solid three cards that we're trying to get out of battle styles. So without further ado, we have a Water Energy, Bi Sharp, Camping Gear, Seedra, Remoraid, Onyx, Mawile, Terubi, Petarisu, Lorantis, and a Conkledor. Okay, battle styles number two. And we have, hopefully, something nice and shiny. There you go. One, two, three, four. Let's go with Psychic. And it's a Dark Energy. Okay. Ah, oh, Crawdaunt. The Blade. Ligar. Electabuzz. Bell Sprout. Bronzer. Murkrow. Cherum. And behind is another one. Not gonna lie, that doesn't happen that often. <laughs> you would think that it would, but it really doesn't. Same card, different holographic pattern. Reverse holo right here, and the holographic version over here, so that's kind of interesting. Can't say I've ever had that happen to me before, so I wonder how rare that is. That's very interesting. So, we have our Vivid Voltage pack to open up, and again, going after any full arts really, but we have the Rainbow Pikachu still. I'll take any amazing rares, because I think they're really sick. Um, there's a Pikachu V, there's the Pikachu V Max, and then there's the Rainbow V Max, and they're just really cool cards all together. Uh, this set's really, really fun to open and probably really fun to play with as well. So we have our Leaf Energy, a Shuckle, Delmise, Trumbeak, Picky Pack, Choodle, Riolu, Chimeco, Nikita, Flareon, Reverse Hollow, and a Mudsdale. So that wraps up the lunchbox for battle styles so the last thing we are going through if you guys recall from the very very beginning of the video is going to be that greninja v union box the cool thing about this box aside from getting the big card of greninja which we'll show you here is the union cards there's four cards that make up the picture of Greninja and I think it's really really cool uh, as far as I know the only thing that was close to this before were like the legend cards from uh, like heart gold and soul silver um, packs where they had like the Lugia uh, you know and two separate cards the Ho-Ho and two separate cards the legendary dogs um, you know the two cards to make up one picture so this is kind of similar, but it has four cards instead of two. And we'll take a quick look see. So here are the four cards that you guys can kind of see. Sorry about the angle, but so there's four different cards. You put them all together and it shows the full picture of Greninja. So we're gonna go ahead and set it aside and we'll sleeve them up later. Here is what the card looks like as a full big promo card. Greninja's pretty cool. He's one of the fan favorites, so that's why I ended up getting one of these. And we got five cards. So we have Chilling Pain. Sorry, four cards. We got Vivid Voltage again. We have a Sword and Shield. Oops, there we go. And then, I haven't opened anything up on this channel yet. That's going to be in future videos, but we have the newer set Evolving Skies pack in here as well. So, Definitely a good assortment of packs. I definitely recommend getting this uh, kind of box. Four packs, you get the four cards to make the big card and you get a full size card as well. But just a good assortment of packs. I mean, you got Sword and Shield Base, that's pretty solid. Vivid Voltage, which is one of my favorites. Chilling Rain, 
has really good pull cards, just a really hard hit rate. And Evolving Skies has been really, really popular with the pulls and all the alternate arts and stuff you can get out of here too. So we'll dive into those and then we'll wrap things up for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna open, I think we'll do Evolving Skies last. We'll start with a Sword and Shield. And I mean, these cards, these Union cards, I think I'll take a closer look at them. Uh, it's just a really cool setup, a cool theme. Uh, I like the idea of having four different cards to make one big card. I think that's cool. Here's a code card for you guys. I'm going to go with fire, lightning. All right, so we got heat more, ferrothorn, energy retrieval, Turin, Sobble, Wulu, Clobopus, Scrumpy, Lumberry, Raichu, and that was it. That Lumberry was the reverse hollow, and I didn't even notice. And a Raichu non hollow rare. With Chilling Pain, a couple things. We want the Galarian Legendary Bird alternate arts, mainly that Moltres that's in this. Uh, the Calyrex V Max cards are pretty cool as well. Um, I think in this set, if I'm not mistaken, I think is the uh, Blaziken VMAX. That's pretty cool, unless I'm getting my sets mixed up, but I don't think I am. Um, so definitely cool, cool chase cards, but just really, really hard uh, for hit rates in terms of what you pull, or I should say pull rates in general. Uh, so we got a Weedle, Clubpus, Thwacky, Reverse Hollow, and a Scalopede. So as is dubbed to Chilling Pain for a reason, because you don't get stuff. If, when you do, you, I mean, it's nice, but most of the time you don't. So we got Vivid Voltage here, hoping for that Rainbow Chunkachu again, or just any full art Pikachu, really, I will take. So we go with, let's go with a Lightning. It's a Leaf, Delmise, Trumbeak, Sableye, Choodle, Riolu, Jameco, Kata, Voltorb, Electros, cool looking card, I like the artwork on that, and an Alchemy. Alright, so last pack Magic guys, it's Evolving Skies, it's the first Evolving Skies pack that I have ever opened, and it's the first one on this channel. So, about this set, for those of you that don't know, this set has been really, really good. Bunch of different evolutions, so all the evolutions of Eevee, uh, there's definitely a bunch of alternate arts there's a Rayquaza there's a Noivern there's a Dragonite there's just so many and I have a couple of uh, trainer boxes that I think I'll do in a later video um, but just a really really cool cool set that we will expand upon but here goes our first pack of evolving skies maybe we'll get something nice and shiny so there we go uh, definitely the things I'm trying to go after are that Dragonite V Full Art, uh, the Rayquaza V Max, and this Umbreon uh, card as well. So hopefully it's right here. Um, just really, really cool cards. And this set, um, again, haven't really opened it, haven't looked at it, but just from what I've seen, uh, just a really, really cool set. Um, so just taking a look at the artwork here. Uh, so far, so good. It's still continuing with the, the Rapid Strike and the Single Strike from Battle Styles. Uh, so we got the Swablu. Uh, ooh, interesting looking card. It's pretty cool. So far, I'm pretty much digging this artwork. A Ludicolo, I like him. He's very happy. All right, and behind is an Eldegoss Holographic. All right. Man. I was hoping we were going to get something good. But I will say this Ludicolo reminds me of Politoed. So maybe I'll set him aside because he's just very happy. I like his attitude. He's very, very happy. So we'll just set him aside. Real quick, guys, before we wrap things up, let's take a closer look at... Oh, hello. I wasn't even paying attention. There is a random... Maybe it's not random. I just didn't know it was in here. There is other cards underneath of the Greninja oops code card for you guys uh, this professor was behind one of the Union cards so that was interesting but 
we'll just lay them out real fast before we sleeve them up. The cool thing about these cards is they're fairly textured, which I like. I believe this goes in the bottom right. This is the top right. And this is the bottom left. So that goes like that. This goes like that. So there is the union cards, guys. All four of them. That's what it looks like put together, which is just a cool way of having a full-sized card like this, but in four separate pieces. I think it's really cool. So I just wanted to show you guys that before we wrap things up. All right, guys. So I know it was a long video. Went through a lot of stuff. Uh, the only really thing that we pulled, as you guys know, let me actually bring them right here since I forgot to, to do them earlier, are the Bolton V and the Tox, uh, Toxtricity V. There you guys go. Only two hits out of all those packs, so is it really worth it? Depends on if you like opening packs like I do, because I think it's worth it just for the price that we paid. Um, Again, that Costco one, 33 bucks, you get 11 packs, totally worth it in my mind. I mean, we got the two hit cards out of that, so that's really cool. The V-Box is cool because you got four different packs that are really solid packs, and you get those four cards to make the full picture for Greninja. I believe there's a Mewtwo one as well, so if you're a huge fan of Mewtwo, I suggest you go check it out. But thank you guys so much, I'll stop rambling on. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. And you guys, as always, you take it easy and have a great rest of your week. Later.